denial, uh, rather than save it for later for the perfect uh, jump onto the squishy. Even has some kind of play against Cyan as well. Pops the Yogi six as well. Because then even if you get your ultimate off, I think you're not getting back to the tower. Well, speaking of ults coming off, though, a knock up there. There could be nowhere to go, and Hans is going to fall. First blood to Blabber. And eyes on Blabber, rookie of the split. First ultimate. As soon as he gets it for Nocturne, he is up to the top side as well. Looks like they were thinking about the Infernal. Right, they've taunted Nocturne. Could this be the burst damage they need? The shield comes up for Zazel. He jumps back across the wall with the flash. But Crack is going to find his cast. And they get that kill picked up. Grig now on the board. Grig answers back. Go mess with Grig. So even though Grig's getting low during this dragon, his team is screening for him. No one will interfere, and TSM will play. From Jensen, he makes his support come mid. They get the flash bot. They're going to get their first turn, and Jensen making a big look, difference. Look at Mithy, though. He's coming down the river for TSM to cut them off. The taunt. He's got flash. How many he's going to hit? A nice top side, which allowed Cloud9. Oh, oh, during the replay. The teleport could come in for Ligris, but it's a bit too late if they wanted to make the call to actually stop the objective. W active, revealing TSM. Ooh, top flash going to find Braum. Zazel puts the ulti down. Nocturnal comes in as well. And there's a Scion behind them. He's teleported through. Now Liquor will show up on top of this one. And fight's gonna start. Orin Horn comes across, finds a knockup on the two in the bot lane. But Grig is still pretty safe. Liquor will have to flash this wall. But he's gonna wait and buy some time first. Waiting for his reinforcement. Maybe waiting with the Zillion open to make this as well. Over the wall goes Bjergsen. Liquor can survive. Bjergsen in the stealth, staying alive. Bithy over the wall now. Looking for round two as a knockout comes in. Will they find that kill? Sneaky knocks down Bjergsen. And the team stays alive. 1 0 cloud that, and they're not done. Watch out for Jensen. Has to flash back. And may look to go in, but not just yet. Ooh, it's Bjergsen going in and getting the shot on top of him. This is going to be a two on two. And it's not enough to kill up Jensen. He's got the ulti still available. Not going to pop for some vision denial. Dragon's still coming across, though. Can they get the revive? Yes, Nocturne goes back up, but Jensen will burn down. Bjergsen finds the kill. Here. And it's now time for Nocturne. But they're re engaged. Quinn picks up one. Looking for a second. And Nocturne from Zazel. In. They pushed in Blabber, but they can't quite find that kill just yet. Shen comes around for this fight, maybe, but he's still in the river. Oh! Looking for that kill. They're not going to find him just yet. They're staying alive. No What's way of joining, though, means TSM might just get their third Drake in a row. Yeah, Sneaky's just going to keep pushing. I think C9 is just going to try to get control of mid lane, buy time for Sneaky to potentially look for a second. It's pretty clear about oh. when he's going to back off. Kaisa can ult across, so Nox is going to rejoin, but Sneaky's going to jump right into the opposing team. And a shutdown for Brig. The trade kill not going to come in as Akali joins in. A knock with the back line. Can they kill off Sven? Lickers will do so. But another one has fallen. His blabber has been taken down. Lickers will revive, but he's going to be alone underneath the turret. Cloud9 separated a cast from Grig. Brings in Zazel. Lickers trying to run on the Orn, but he's got nowhere to go. Surrounded by TSM, they surely have the damage, and it will be a team fight won by TSM. TSM get three kills for themselves. And right, when you lose your three kill win that early on, it's going to be so difficult to actually win that fight. Control for this little bit of time. Scuttle towards Cloud9. And Grig's going to pull aggro. A nice knockout from Hansa on Azazel. And Akali's off in the wings behind the wall. Is he going to find the flank towards Sneaky? Pierce is going to look, but he's on top of the control. Now they know that he's there. And Lex will hold the left side of the flank. Dragon's still taking lower and lower, though, down to 2k HP. It's going to be a spike fight picked up there by Grig. Orn Horn comes across. They still wait for Akali. Hans in the front line. When's the engage coming through? They pull Sean on top of him. He's going to look for the back line. They can't yet find it. He's got no one to kill. And a first resurrection comes through. Now a trade as the Zonius pops in for Hans there, but the Scion will die pretty soon. They've knocked down Blabber. 1 0 TSM, and they're walking away with four members on this one. C9 trying to re engage, though. Can they find someone to kill? Hans can't get back over the wall. They've got a knock up towards 50. The Todd comes across. Beard and rejoins. They're going to fight a certain kill. As Jensen gets one, though, on his vent. It's a 4v4. Zonius for Mithy, but a bomb is on top of him. He's going to fall over. A tunnel for Jensen. It's C9 who's won the fight. They don't have this. Licorice is coming. They're going to go for this play right now. Looking for the knockups under the back line. They're going to try to assassinate Sven, but he's going to kite away and stay alive. Flyer's going to be careful, but Grick is caught along with the Zonius, and he's going to flash away, staying up for this one. Now Licorice on the front line. A big knockup. Not going to be found for Hanser, and they could chain him down. Under 1,000 HP, he's going to walk away and ult back out as well. No casualties, but Lots of low health bars. Yep, lots of low health bars indeed. All the tanks walking away in the end, and the junglers as well. In the end, we still have the pushing uh, mini wave on top side though. And as the sale points out, there's the war box on Licorice. So you know they're the going for round two. Bjergsen, he nearly one shot sneak. He's got to get out of this one. Bjergsen can't quite get the rest of that kill, but it's gonna be hard to team fight without a march. But now Hans with the wall. They're gonna try to burn down Licorice. They get one. Mithy gets the kill. Looking for Jensen as number two. Can they chase?
chase him down, not quite. Go for this one as the Baron's at a 4,000 HP. Smite is available. Can he get in the pit? Can they fight for it? Into the front line that goes them. Sneaky trying to get his kill. He'll be revived, but watch out as Bjergsen wants to find someone to kill. Zazel's going to fall. Sneaky caught alone. He's taunted. That's a two for zero. Make it a third. TSM cleaning up the map. And TSM are going to get this Baron. It's just Jensen alive. They get the kills. They'll claim the Baron. Four dragons to zero. Well, they have a stranglehold on this first game. With this Baron buff. TSM starting to take their toll, though. Mid lane will be first. That's going to be the turret falling. TSM now one on the board here. Will they be a C9 to re -engage? They got that fall. A bit of a slow towards Hauntzer. That's done as well as the minions can fall, but it, will it be much of a chase? They're going to try, actually, to find themselves a single kill. A flash for Zazel's going to stop that one. But here comes the re-engage. Knocked into the back line. Another Shunnel used to keep them alive, though. And they're going to get that kill on the Hauntzer, slowly but surely. No, he flashed the way, and that Cyan is still alive. He's undying in lore and in the game. As now Blabber's running away, looking for another re-engage towards Greg. Here comes the flank in for Bjergsen. He's going to look for Jensen. Does he have the damage? He does. But it's a one for one as Kaisa has fallen. So the fight must continue. But look at the damage towards Ooh. Nikki. Does get burned down. TSM winning yet again. Zazel's going to drop. Linkbridge now left alone. A triple kill for Bjergsen. And he's got to look for his fourth. It's a very tanky orb, but he is not getting away from this one. TSM, four to one in the team fight. Elder Dragon is available. Bear Just a raid boss there in the mid lane. Z9 committed everything and they couldn't get the kill. If you lose a fight with the enemy team wearing Baron, you have to give up so much afterwards. The push is immediate and TSM are already inside the base. And that is inhibitor down and respawn still a few seconds away. So Cloud9 not going to join much of anything as the teleports come across the map and TSM conglomerates down towards this Elder Dragon. Bjergsen now seven kills on the Akali. Got to come in later in the fight, pick off a bunch of the low health members, not having to worry about the Zillion Ultimate anymore. And TSM targets and trying to knock them out of the fight. And looks like TSM wants to keep going. AP on this guy. And he is going to be absolutely shredding through Jensen and Ziki. Here comes the push. Top lane inhibitor turret going to fall at 8,000 gold Baron power play. And will it be a team fight? Nocturnal pops. Roms as well, but it's Cloud9 not willing to pull the trigger. They're going to seed more of the base and give more to TSM. Yeah, remember the Elemental Drake stacking from TSM earlier in the game? Well, it pays off when you get a late game Elder Dragon. There's zero chance that Cloud9 can fight them while they have this much true damage at their disposal. But they might have to. In comes the dive to the back line. Can't quite kill off Sneaky, but right now he's invisible, so Bjergsen's going to be okay. The kill's going to come off towards Licorice. One for zero. And in the 5v4, a great knockback for Brig. Will knock in the Garden Angel off of Flabber, one turret falls as well. So now Olympic C9 must try again, but Quinn's already been deleted, and they're gonna lose this one as C9 stuck inside the fountain. Another double kill for Bjergsen, nine and two on the Assassin. They're gonna knock down the rest of the base, spend a bit of time like Vitality hitting people on the fountain, but this time they will knock down the Nexus, and TSM leads the semi-final 1-0.